In this video, we'll be talking about Gaucher disease. Gaucher disease was discovered by Philip Gaucher in 1882s and this is a rare genetic disorder that belongs to the group of conditions called lysosomal storage disorder. So obviously the lysosome is involved and in the lysosome there is a buildup of glucocerebrocyte. And glucocerebrocyte builds up because the enzyme that breaks down glucocerebrocyte is kind of non-functional in this disease. Glucocerebrosidase is the enzyme that breaks down glucocerebrosyte and this is encoded by the gene GBA which is located in the chromosome 1. In this disease the, due to a mutation the gene doesn't produce optimally the glucocerebrosidase. So the functional glucocerebrosidase enzyme is not present. In general the glucocerebrosidase enzyme break down glucocerebrosyte into glucose and ceramides. So obviously this breakdown doesn't happen due to this gene mutation and that's the key cause of this particular Gauche's disease. When it comes to inheritance pattern, this is an autosomal recessive pattern of inheritance. That means if both parents are carrier, that means one allele in the parents are faulty, then there is a 25% of the chance that the next in next generation, one of the child out of four would be affected. So there is a 25% chance. Now, Gauche's disease can be classified into type 1, type 2 and type 3. In case of type 1, which is the most common form and it primarily affects the bones, liver and the spleen. In this case, hepatosplenomegaly or enlarged spleen or liver is quite common along with fatigue and bone pain. The neurological symptoms are typically absent in this case. Now in type 2, most Severe uh, forms of, of uh, most severe symptoms appear from the central nervous system, so it's kind of like involved the central nervous system. Then the symptoms include severe brain damage, developmental regression, seizures, and even neurological issues are there. Then type three has a severity in between type one and type two, and it involves both visceral organs and neurological components. Let's talk about the pathology of Gauche's disease. So generally, every cell type have glucocerebrosyde as a glycolipid incorporated in their membrane. So generally when the cells get old and die due to some reason, sometimes macrophages are the immune cells that take up these debris and clear up them by phagocytosis. So inside the macrophages, there are lysosomes which can break down the uh, glycolipids that means the especially the glucocerebrosyte present in in the membrane so overall glucocerebrosyte is broken down into the respective catabolite cat, uh, uh, catabolic products with the help of glucocerebrosidase but in case of gauche's disease the glucocerebrosidase is faulty that means the breakdown doesn't happen and thereby, there is a buildup of glucocerebrosyte inside the lysosome. So obviously, when the, fat, uh, the fatty products build up inside the lysosome, this gives the macrophages a different appearance. It's kind of like a tissue paper, crumpled tissue paper like appearance. And that is very characteristic of Gaucher's disease. And these are known as Gaucher's cells. Under microscopic examination, anybody can identify this kind of Gaucher cells, which are pretty characteristics of this disease. Now let's talk about what these Gaucher cells can actually do. These Gaucher cells are actually found in the bone marrow, liver and the spleen. Eventually, it leads to an enlargement of the spleen and the uh, liver. Also, the Gaucher cell can secrete lysosomal enzymes and pro-inflammatory cytokines which can evoke inflammation and tissue scarring especially scarring in the liver and spleen might lead to several metabolic defects one of that is basically severe bone marrow fibrosis which lead to reduction in the rbc production that might lead to anemia development of fatigue etc also there is a reduced blood flow seen in the bone uh, in the bone that lead to bone crisis and eventually might lead to osteoporosis now other symptoms of type 1 gaucher disease includes hepatosplenomegaly 
so not only there is a scarring in the liver but also in the spleen there are entrapped uh, thrombocytes and that lead to thrombocytopenia since the thrombocytes are less the bruising is more frequent and there are more chances of bruising and bleeding now here comes the gaucher disease type 2 it has uh, all the neurological symptoms generally in type 1 the neurological symptoms are not prevalent but in case of type 2 acute neuropathic uh, which is also known as acute neuropathic gaucher disease there are many neurological symptoms and it generally happens in the early stage of the life glucocerebroside can actually be toxic for the brain and it leads to loss of motor skill decreased muscle tone muscle spasms trouble in swallowing generally the babies die because they can't get uh, feeding properly and sometimes uh, they have a uh, swallowing difficulty and food gets stuck in their lung so these are the problems and the death happens within the first few years of the life Gaucher disease type 3 is uh, kind of like intermediately severe compared to the type 2 and it's a like little bit more severe compared to type 1 and this sim in this case the symptoms appear in the second decade of the life so it's a late onset the neurological symptoms are present but their onset is slow one of the most prevalent symptoms that is found in Gaucher disease type 3 is the recurrent seizures so here comes the diagnosis of the Gaucher's disease. So glucocerebrosidase activity from patient's serum is one of the diagnostic tests. Then genetic, test, genetic testing, looking for the GBA gene mutation is kind of like very much confirmatory. And the pa clinician generally try to look at the uh, patient's symptom and try to get a, a overall idea about this disease progression. There is no cure for this treat, uh, this particular disease, but enzyme replacement therapy where artificial uh, glucocerebrosidase is provided can improvise the situation. Then substrate reduction therapy, that means uh, medications or drugs that can basically reduce the production of glucocerebroside can also be useful. And apart from all of these, the symptoms that... Uh, that are gen and that are associated with disease can be managed properly with supportive care and that's the treatment options for this disease so i hope this was useful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe you can follow us on facebook and instagram links are provided in description support us using super thanks see you in next video